a lot of the wild behavior that had been, uh, let's say, acquired at the music box, which was uh, more of a lively place than, say, maybe the power plant or these other places had been. Uh, music box, as we, you know, obviously we had some discussions last night, it was a wild place. Um, DJ Ron Hardy was a bit of a radical. The music, he, way, he played the music, it created a uh, radical consciousness, even. Uh, the punk ethic, even. You know what I mean? The way people dance, you know. Uh, we even did some slam, you know, people did some slam dancing back then, too. But in that behavior, in that consciousness, it created this real, like, DIY slash, you know, freedom, you know, uh, erotic, exotic kind of vibe. And this, this was carried over to the club. So by the time that we was going, bro, it was, you know, uh, girls and little of nothing. Uh, dudes behind the speakers with the girls. Because it always been these, you know, like, stories about people having sex behind the speakers in the music box and shit like that. Uh, well, you know, I'm sure there was quite a few guys that were, you know, uh, looking forward to trying to pull that shit off <laughs> at the club to react to. And it happened. You know what I'm saying? Stuff that I've seen on the floor. You know, or people going into the bathrooms and, and, and doing their thing. If you know what you're doing with sound, you have the ability to really control the uh, essence in the room and the way that people react to certain things because on a scientific level, actually, uh, certain frequencies react to the body a certain way. They have like reaction. Uh, when you have that level of control, man, you can enhance obviously a record, but you can also enhance the energy in the record and, and translate that to people. You know what I mean? Because that's really what you're doing. When you're a good DJ or record programmer, you're actually getting the people the idea is to get the people to feel about this record the way that you feel about this record. You know what I mean? And working with that level of technology, which, which that was like kind of like somewhat of the ground floor for that. I mean, David McCruso, of course, did his thing, and Nick Ciano did his, did his thing, but Paradise Garage, from my understanding, and then even talking to people, I mean, it, you know, it was kind of like they refined all that.